For function of a real variable, you have seen the notions of domain, codomain, range, one-to-one -one and onto. For functions of a complex variable, you have these concepts too. They work in exactly the same way as you will see in this video. So if you know how to do this in the real case, the extension to the complex case is quite straightforward. Let's take a look at an example. So we have f from the domain to the codomain, f of z equals 1 over z. Now, first question, determine the maximal domain. Second question, determine the codomain of the function. Uh, uh, third question, determine the range of this function f. So first about the domain, what's the maximal domain which we can choose? Well, you have f of z equals 1 over z, so obviously you cannot plug in z equals 0. But apart from 0, you can plug in any number z. So the maximal domain is the set C without 0. What about the codomain? Well, the codomain of a function is the set which contains all the, uh, the image values. So if you compute 1 over z, you will get a complex number. So as a codomain, you can just choose C, all of C. And third question, the range. Well, that is usually a lot harder. Uh, the range is the set of values you can actually reach by going through all values in the domain. And often it's, well, practically impossible to de determine the range. However, in this case, we have a rather easy function. Just have 1 over z. So we can see that the range that you can reach all values apart from 0. So the range equals c, but not 0. So why is that? Well, take any w and c, not equal to 0. Then we wonder, can we reach this value w? So we said f of z equals w, so f of z equals 1 over z, so 1 over z equals w. Uh, now, we know that uh, w is not equal to 0 and z equal is not equal to 0, so we can compute z equals 1 over w, and that is indeed some complex number, so in particular this 1 over w will be in the domain of uh, the function f, which means that you can reach any w by the appropriate z equals 1 over w. So in this case, you can in fact find the range. It's all of c except for 0. And other questions, is the function f on 2, and is the function f 1 to 1, where we now have chosen the maximal domain and the codomain c and the same function 1 over z. So is the function f on 2? Well, if you take 0 in the codomain, there's no z such that uh, this 0 can be reached. So there's no z such that z equals 0, which means that the function f is not on 2. For a function to be on 2, you have to be able to reach any value in the codomain. And now we cannot reach a 0, which means that we are not on 2. Alternatively, uh, since you already computed uh, in B and C the, do, uh, the, the range and the codomain, you see that they are not equal, which uh, also leads to the conclusion that f is not on 2. Then, 1 to 1. Well, what, what does 1 to 1 mean? It means that if you, uh, if you have two different values, z1 and z2, which go to the same value w, then your function is not 1 to 1. 1 to 1 means that any uh, value w in the codomain can be reached by at most one z in the domain. So it's not possible that two different sets go to the same value. So how do you show that the function is 1 to 1? Well, you try uh, to choose two different z ones, such as f of z1 equals f of z2, and see where that leads you. Well, if the function values are the same, that means that 1 over z1 equals 1 over z2. z1 and z2 are both in the domain, so in particular they are non-zero, so you can multiply by the product z1 and z2 on both sides. And then uh, when you do that, you see that you can uh, eliminate z1 over z1 and z2 over z2 here, which leads to the conclusion that z2 equals z1. So you see, if the function values are the same, then the uh, values in the domain also have to be the same, which means that there are no different z1 and z2 mapping to the same function, to the same function value, which means that our function f is 1 to 1. So you see all those arguments for domain, codomain, range, on to 1 to 1, they, uh, those concepts work exactly the same uh, as in the real case.